Here's your host, Kim Getz. Hello and welcome to our show. Eighteen international students arrived in Scottsdale recently to participate in a one-year program where they learn about democracy and American business practices. Deanne Kincaid brings us this story from Scottsdale Community College. The program is called Building Global Trust. Its main goal is to build mutual understanding between people of the United States and other countries. We do this by increasing access to higher education for talented, underserved populations around the world. They come from many different countries, Kenya, Pakistan, and India. These students are selected to attend Scottsdale Community College for one year as part of a three-year grant from the U.S. Department of State. Maricopa Community Colleges is one of the four school systems across the country selected because of its commitment to international exchange. There's a focus on access, flexibility, creativity. They have close links to the community, close links to employers, and a real focus on diversity. Eighteen students arrive with the hope of fulfilling a lifelong dream to go to school in America. Many remember the call from the U.S. Consulate notifying them of their selection to the program. So it was like three minutes of silence, kind of, uh, I don't know what, to, what was going on in my thing, like I was on a cloud nine. Students study a variety of subjects including hospitality and tourism, accounting and film production. Dulam is an accomplished documentary filmmaker having won awards for his film about the danger of fluoride in groundwater in India, but he wants to learn more. He's taking a documentary course at SCC's film school. This is a, like, excellent opportunity for me to groom myself and to take my skills to the next level. Daniel Kiga Kamo is from Kenya and he too is studying film. Daniel claims that this is the second time he's been to the United States. Um, yes, the first time it happened was in my dreams. Each student says they have a responsibility to succeed in this program beyond their own dreams and aspirations. I'm not just here for myself. I'm here representing so many people that hope to have me add value into their careers and into their personal lives once I go back to Kenya. Kiga comes from a country that has suffered much in recent history. He plans to produce a film about the struggles his family has had to endure. Yeah, my dad was attacked by thugs in the city and left him for the dead. Kiga says his father disappeared two years later and hasn't been seen since. Kiga is very grateful for the chance to learn and experience another country's culture. They are impacting our lives so greatly and the, life of, and the lives of those that we represent. Along with maintaining their studies, students expand their experience by volunteering in community services like working with the homeless. Program coordinators believe these kinds of community involvements will pay off back home. Those are the skills that they take back to their home country for their own personal careers. They've learned some of the principles of volunteerism, the um, principles of, of civic education, civic participation here in an American community. For those who need improved English skills, there is a pre-academic training program which helps them get acculturated to the American classroom. And all students get to experience life in an American family. The students stay with their host families just for the first two or three weeks while they're adjusting. Gives them a chance to see what it's like to live in a real American family. They also get to adjust to the midsummer heat. <laughs> it's very hot here. In Kenya, our highs are not as high as it is here. You could literally fry an egg here on the road. In Kenya, you may not do that. Students also get to work with local businesses related to their field of interest. Families or businesses interested in hosting a student can contact the project coordinator at this email. So it's a real exchange of cultures and education and learning about the rest of the world through this program. Because not all community college students will have a chance to study overseas. Now at the same time, you'll have 18 students at the end of this year who will be returning to their home countries who know a whole lot about Maricopa Community College about this area and have been very involved in the community. The students are grateful for the Department of State's funding of this program as well as Scottsdale Community College. There is no place like SEC. We are so happy to have to, to, to be here. Reporting for Maricopa Now, I'm Deanne Kincaid. <laughs>